Yo, what's going on guys? It is JD here back with another episode of the No Money Spent Road to Glory and today we've got a very exciting video. We are going to be adding another diamond to the squad and it's going to be the Amethyst Desmond Mason. It's going to get evolved up to that diamond level. So we did have him ready yesterday but I forgot to put him in the squad when we played that uh, game of the weekly challenges with Kyle Drexler. So that was my bad on that one but it does mean he can have his own dedicated video today which definitely is not a bad thing. So we will hop into just a triple threat offline game just to get it done nice and quickly. That's what I've been doing in the last like 20 or so games with him because uh, I managed to get the points and the three pointers and the dunks done really pretty easily. Uh, and it was just the games that has held us back really. So a little bit of a pain playing that many games. But I know a couple of the cards have like 100 game requirements. So that would be super, super long. Uh, with Clyde Drexler, I have played one game of Domination since yesterday. We dropped another 100 points, we've got another 8 or so rebounds, and we actually managed to get 5 steals, which is actually pretty good, uh, considering that was on Historic Domination, it was the Suns. So superstar difficulty, we managed to get 5 steals in a game, which is really nice. So we've got the two Suns packs here, which we will open, and then from the daily login reward today, we actually got a Clyde Drexler pack, which is really nice. So I uh, wasn't expecting that from his Spotlight series, so... Fingers crossed we can get something half decent out of that. Uh, let's take a look. So Spotlight Clyde Drexler Award Pack. Are we going to get anything nice? Let's have a look. And it, it looks like no. We're going to get a Sapphire. Uh, and it is going to be from the set. So it's Larry Nance. Larry Nance? Larry Nance. Uh, and we will take a quick look and see if he sells for anything. I can't imagine he does. But you never know. Larry Nance. There we go. And he sells for 1000 MT. But it's 1000 MT that we didn't have before that pack. So it's not too bad. Can't complain too much. Moving down here to the, well, today the uh, little unlimited token bonus thing. That's quite nice, actually. Two free tokens after every unlimited win. Now, if unlimited wasn't such an awful game mode, that would be a great thing to do. But because it's so awful, no one's really going to be playing that, which is a little bit disappointing. Uh, but we've actually got some really nice daily ones here. So we've got purchase an emerald shooting guard from the auction house. And that gets us two tokens. And that's actually big for us uh, because, as you can see in the top right, we're on 29 tokens at the moment. When we get these extra two tokens, I'll put us on 31, obviously. Um, and then we can go ahead and pick up another Amethyst player from the token board. So there's only one Lou Will up, so we'll pick him up uh, and add him to the squad. Uh, and that is going to be enough. We should have just sent him straight to the auctions. Don't know why I didn't, but anyway, uh, we will, of course, sell him straight away after this video. So there we go. There's our two tokens. Very nice and easy. They, those daily challenges uh, are absolutely fantastic. That means we can come down here and get our fifth Amethyst player already. So we're flying through these. We only got our first one a couple of days ago, uh, and we're already on number five. So who are we going to pick up today? Um, realistically, I haven't been able to use any of these guys just yet because uh, we've been doing so much with these Evo cards. Uh, Michael Red, is he pretty nice? Does he have things like, uh, he's got Dead Eye, Green Machine, Hop Zone, Hunter, uh, Range Extender. So yeah, he's, he looks nice. Apart from Steady Shooter, that ain't it, Chief. Uh, but he looks pretty decent. He's not too slow. Let's pick up Michael Red as another Amethyst to join the squad. Welcome to the club. Michael Red, you're the fifth Amethyst. Amethyst? Amethyst to join. Uh, we only need seven more now, so we're getting there. We're nearly halfway. One more puts us halfway to that diamond board, which is really, really nice. Uh, so yeah, we did play the Domination game, uh, and we've completed all the week's challenges and the Spotlight challenges. Tomorrow, we will be getting a new Spotlight Series challenge, I believe, which will be really nice. It'll give us another card to Evo, uh, which, of course, we haven't even finished Clyde yet. And that gets us on to a comment that I got in yesterday's video. So it was from Ian Fitton, so shout out to you, my guy, for leaving the comment. Uh, and I won't read out the whole comment because it was pretty damn long, um, but I'll just give you a little bit of a gist of it. So he says, uh, Drexler is a complete insane grind compared to Wade and Garnett which I totally agree with. Uh, and then he says, he's not a fan of how, giving, uh, how they keep giving some cards random grind stats. So high rebounds on a guard is just stupid, uh, and they should make it tougher uh, and stop people stat cheating. They should have just upped the game's stat, as you can't spam games, you have to actually play them, which is very true. Uh, so with this Desmond Mason, there was no way around getting up to 50 games. I had to play every single game uh, on him. Uh, so that is a good point. Maybe they should just keep doing that. Uh, but it does make sense that some of these things are really, really stupid. McAdoo with free throws, Clyde the Glide with rebounds, multiple players with assists and points instead of just having one or the other miles uh miles darius miles uh with the three pointers uh they are pretty silly evolution not gonna lie uh, and that was the gist of his comment really and then he ends it with playing the game and evolving players is fun but he's trying to constantly get fouled or camping around the key for those boards really making the game enjoyable and that is a really really good comment and that is a really good talking point not gonna lie um because 
I probably wouldn't have played those weekly challenges if it wasn't for getting steals, because that is the easiest way to get steals in my opinion. Now, I don't really think that's too much of a bad thing, because he is a shooting guard, um, you know, he doesn't have a crazy high steal rating, uh, but it's, it's manageable. Uh, but the rebounds, on the other hand, 400 rebounds for a guard is pretty damn ridiculous, not gonna lie. Uh, something like that I don't think should be a thing. Something like this, this is a good evolution card in my opinion. So three pointers, dunks, play games and score points. That's it, that's nice, that is what we want to do. And if we come down here to someone like the Darius Miles, this is ridiculous. So as you can see on the right there, three points short of a 60 and they want you to make 63 pointers with a 63 point rating. Like. It's just dumb, like that should not be in the game. And uh, then we come down here to this uh, Danny Green. This one just makes me laugh. You've got to make 23 pointers, which will by default get you 60 points. But then you've got to score 50 points anyway. So why they put that as two different requirements, I don't know. That just seems very, very strange. Uh, but Terence Ross, again, this is a nice one. Score points and make 100 dunks. But uh, when you do this evolution, the next one, you have to get steals with him. And his steal rating is really low. So... Again, that is one that I don't really think should be in the game. Uh, this one, like I said, is a blueprint of what I think it should be. Uh, and for bigs, oh, we can't see the uh, requirements that we needed for KG. But for bigs, definitely rebounds, definitely points, um, and definitely maybe blocks as well. KG had one or two that had blocks in it, so they're nice. But yeah, things like rebounds on guards just don't make sense, especially 400. Like, that is so many. Uh, and like Ian says in his comment, you just have to camp around in the paint and not play any defense, even though, of course, you are giving up a lot of free buckets. You have to do it to make sure you're in position for that board. So it is pretty dumb, not going to lie. Um, and then today, let's just go ahead and put in Desmond Mason, wherever he is, there he is. Uh, and let's just go ahead and get this dub and get ourselves Diamond Jason Adjacent Desmond Mason uh, and the squad we come up against is ridiculous not gonna lie We've got one amethyst and two emeralds and that's the squad we come up against it's like I don't know about that one chief um, But Desmond Mason is an absolute god on offense So we should be able to just get blow bys every time down on the offensive end uh, Who we got to off ball on we can off ball on Andre Drummond He's not gonna be shooting anything outside uh, and the others should be able to cope with their defensive capabilities so it is a really interesting little topic and conversation piece about these evolution cards they are of course one of the best things about the mode this year uh, and i think myself along with many many others uh, would not be playing this game this year as much as we are anyway um, if it wasn't for these evolution cards being in the game it definitely gives you something else to aim for uh, rather than just playing domination normally or grinding out triple threat offline normally uh, it just gives a different dimension to things and actually gives you something to work on during the games uh, which is something we haven't had in recent years but when you're having to get 400 rebounds with a guard uh, it just comes pretty ridiculous not gonna lie uh, and yeah all those games in the weekly challenges every single one of them I was playing uh, and I wasn't playing any defense with Clyde I was just camping down in the paint because that's what I had to do uh, and it's the same with Domination now. Now we're through the weekly challenges. Uh, oh, there we go. There's a rebound, but it's sadly with a Desmond Mason. Uh, yeah, now we're going into Domination because obviously the weekly challenges are done. Uh, I'm not going to be playing any defense in that either. We're still going to be going into the games and just camping down in the paint. And it is a shame that we have to do that, but you're not going to get 400 rebounds naturally as a guard. Like, it, you might do, but it would take so long uh, to get. Are we going to get that to go against... Oh, look at that. 2% covered. That is unreal. Uh, that is just ridiculous. And Dave Cohen's with the three green lights. I'm pretty sure his uh, three-point rating is pretty low, not going to lie. Uh, and it's actually pretty hard to blow by him with this takeover. Uh, we're going to get the blow by. Again, that is only 27% covered. Um, and thankfully, that one goes down at least. Um, but I'm pretty happy about the, getting this Desmond Mason up to a diamond. Uh, this card as an amethyst is an absolute beast as it is. So I'm super excited as Desmond Mason uh, is going to come down here. And hopefully, we're going to get another bucket to go, as we are. Easy enough. Triple Threat Offline, of course, is very, very fun to grind. And this is perfect for things like the dunks, the threes, and the points. So this is exactly what you want for Terrence Ross and for Desmond Mason. But rebounds in Triple Threat Offline, steals in Triple Threat Offline, it's just not going to happen. Like, you can play hundreds and hundreds of games, uh, and you're not really going to be getting much. You can average sort of like four to four. You can average like four to five boards a game uh, with a guard. Like I've played a couple with Clyde Drexler and he was getting four to five boards a game and he's getting like one or two steals. Uh, so the steals would take so long trying to get a 150 by getting like one or two a game. Like it's just ridiculous. And the rebounds, even if you're getting five a game, that's still a lot of games that you need to be playing. Points is bad enough. Like we've got to score 2,000 with that Clyde the Glide. It's not too bad because you can drop a hundred a game in domination. Uh, so that does make it a little bit more attainable. But... The fact that you've got to do the 400 boards, they are the thing that's going to take the most time by far. 
Like, we can average kind of like 10 a game, but even if we average 10 a game, that's still 40 games of like domination or weekly challenges just to get his balls. Like, it's such, such a long grind. I'd much rather have a thing where I had to play 50 games or play 75 games or play 100 games with him because we could just come into here into the triple threat offline and they're quick games, they're nice and easy to get through. And of course, you are getting rewards at the same time as getting him evolved. Uh, so I'd much prefer to do that rather than uh, really having to focus down just on getting one thing done with him. Uh, so yeah, that was a very good comment, I thought, and uh, shout out to you, Ian, for commenting that. Alright, so we're coming to the end of this, and I'm very excited to get Tesma Mason to a dime. We're not going to lie, let's try and get a three to end on. Are we going to get the green? We're not, uh, which means, of course, it's not going to go in, but we are going to get the rebound. Look at him flying in there. He absolutely love to see that. Still got his takeover, so we will try again uh, to get another snatch back on the three to go. We are going up against Dave Cohen, so it's not super easy, but that's a decent enough look. Only 30% covered, a little bit early, or was that late? I, I don't even know. Uh, but we messed up the release either way. And they're going to come down and Desmond Mason with that... Oh no, Jason Richardson with a defensive effort uh, that he goes ahead and just completely messes up for us. So uh, it looks like we're going to have to take some twos to end this one. I don't really want to be losing a game of Triple Threat offline. I haven't lost a single game this year, I don't think. But of course, we have only won 120. This is going to be game 121. So we're going to be getting there on the grind up to, well, roughly like 190 to 200 wins. Uh, we had a little conversation about that Jason Williams yesterday. Have had another comment from someone who says he's trash. So, yeah, I don't know who to believe on that one. Are we going to get this three with Desmond Mason? If you just stood a little bit closer to the three-point line, that would have been great. But you didn't. So, oh, God, shooting in this game is so bad. Uh, there's a reason that we usually only take dunks. And we're going to end it here with, oh, my God, what have you done there? <laughs> what has he done there? I don't know. But he's got the jumper to go. That is another 22 points for Desmond Mason. Easy enough. He didn't need any, though. He just needed the game. And we got that. And that is him at a diamond level. Let's go get that uh, evolution done. All right, so we're going to get a chance to open the vault, of course. Now, I've had this open twice since the update. Uh, and we get it here today. The previous two times, I've only got the gold consumables pack. What are we going to get today? And it's going to be a Kevin Garnett wall pack. Let's get it. That's big. All right, we will definitely take that. Uh, so first of all, let's go ahead and open up our free pack for winning that game. That is fantastic. Like I said, this is the first time I've actually got a decent reward for this. Are we going to get... Is that a Ruby card from the set? Let's go. Wally Sersbiak. I'm actually pretty sure he sells for like 8k. When I sold mine, he was like 8k. Let's have a look at him now. Has that got a bid on it? It doesn't. Uh, that's a little bit annoying. Why do we have him in the set? Why do we have him in the club? Uh, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Do we have him and we haven't sold him yet? I'm sure we've sold him. Let's Anyway, let's just have a look. So he looks like he sells for about 6,000 MT, which is actually really nice. I'll definitely take that. Uh, that's awesome. Oh, of course we've got him in the club because I just packed him. Oh my God, I'm so dumb. It's unreal. <laughs> it's unreal, guys. I can't explain how dumb I am. Uh, but just forgive me. Don't even listen to me. Uh, but let's sell Wally Zerzby out for 6 games. So we've got a bonus 6,000 MT for completing that one game of uh, Triple Threat Offline. So that is super nice. But more importantly... Desmond Mason. He is ready to become a diamond. This is going to be our first diamond evolution of the year. So let's get it done. We've got a My Team goal achieved as well. Uh, that's pretty sick. And there we go. Desmond Mason, a 94 rated diamond. Why did we get a daily of... Why did we get a challenge to pop up? What is this for? Um, it is for one token. All right. Oh, one star evolution with any card. There we go. So we've got an extra token for doing Desmond Mason. That is sick. Uh, and now he is sitting here nice and pretty. Three Hall of Fame badges, 27 gold, one silver, and his stats are looking a little like this. So 92 driving layup, 88 mid-range, 84 three ball, 97 driving dunk, 88 ball handling, 86 perimeter defense, and then 85 speed, 85 lateral quickness. Uh, that card is utterly disgusting. And in terms of hot zones, he's actually got three out of the five hot zones from three, which is really nice. Uh, so there we go. That is the first diamond evolution of the year. That is ridiculous. Uh, he's now sitting pretty at the top of our evolution tab. And hopefully Clyde the Glide will be joining him in the not too distant future. And also this Terence Ross. I've been working on him a little bit. Uh, just playing Triple Threat offline. And he's managed to get 250 points already. So I think the move is going to be to get Clyde, get his points done. Uh, and then of course he needs 200 assists. So we might as well just assist 200 buckets for Terence Ross and get him another, I don't know, probably like 450 points. He's probably going to get some add ones and some threes off of that. And then he'll pretty much be there, ready to be evolved and ready to be sold for a little bit of profit from us. So that is going to be it for today's video. Uh, we've got another diamond in the squad now. So that is us up to four diamonds. Look at that, four diamonds. And hopefully 
Uh, well, definitely by the end of this week, we will have a full diamond starting five, which is mad. And then we might consider going into Unlimited, but we'll see about that. But anyway, that's going to be it for today, guys. Hope you did enjoy today's video. As usual, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace.